Hi guys, it's Kylie and today I'm going to be doing a palette collection video. I just want to say that I'm not trying to brag, I just really love makeup and eyeshadow palettes are my favorite thing to collect. And some of them are not like actually eyeshadow palettes I feel like, but I'm just going to show you guys anyways and I'm going to show you guys ones that I don't use that much too because they're still eyeshadow palettes and they're still in my collection, so yeah. Um, anyways, so... I'm in the same outfit, I think, as one of my other videos, and I have not worn this outfit since that video, so kind of just bad timing, honestly. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so like I said, again, I'm not in trying to brag, I just love makeup, and I love watching these videos recently. I've just started watching them, so yeah. I'm gonna go from oldest to newest. Most of my palettes are pretty new, like from the last six months. Okay, so here is the first one that I have, um purchased so I got this one from Ulta I'll try to tell you guys where I got them from so this one is from Ulta and it's the blush nudes I love this and it's really inexpensive and I love the colors in here um I love like rose gold and stuff like that like just pinky colors so this palette was right at my alley and I hear a lot of people or I just hear some people saying that they don't really like this because it's not pigmented I love it um, my favorite colors in here are this one right here this pink this gold and then this color um, it's only $10, so I think it's really affordable, and Maybelline is one of my favorite brands, and this is one of my favorite drugstore palettes that I own, and I love it. The next one that I have is the Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics, and I am not the biggest fan of this palette. I'm not going to lie and say that I like it, because I don't. I rarely find myself using this. Whenever I do wear eyeshadow, I don't use this. Um, I'm not a big fan of matte shades. I found I like shimmery, um, but this one, the colors in here are kind of, they're like really good for just a basic, really easy look, and I think this is a really good, like, palette to get when you first start off makeup, and um, I feel like these are really basic colors, oh jeez, and I feel like I am just not like super into these colors, they're kind of cool toned I feel like a little bit, they're not super cool tones, but they are a little bit, so I just don't find myself using them a lot. So I would like, I like this palette, but it's just not my favorite. My favorite color, if I had to pick though, would probably be Cover, which is just this brown right here. I got that at Ulta, by the way. Next, I got this one for my birthday, but you can probably just buy it at Target or Ulta. I don't know. This palette is not super expensive, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I really like it. It has shimmery colors and. I use like, I like every color like up until these two dark colors. I don't like dark colors. I love how this eyeshadow palette has matte and shimmers in here. It It's really pretty and I think that this palette is a really good palette to have. This was the next one that I purchased and this was like my first like pretty big palette and it's the Carly Bible, Bible palette. I'm not really sure how to pronounce her last name. I ordered it online and I love this palette. When I travel, I bring this with me. This is like the eyeshadow palette that I bring. I love this palette. It's super affordable. I don't wear highlighters, so I don't use these highlighters down here. But I think that this pink highlighter is really cool. Um, so yeah, I love the colors in here. My favorite ones are this one, like that, that one, and that one. They're very neutral colors. They're very warm toned, which I love, like bronzy colors and warm toned colors on my eyes. They're my favorite. Even though I don't wear highlighter, I can still use these as eyeshadows on my eyes if I really wanted to. And I love the mirror that comes with this too. It's really big and it's like a great mirror. So yeah, that's that. Next, I have this eyeshadow palette. And this is the Christmas in New York Too Faced the Chocolate Chop Cocoa Powder Infused Eyeshadow Palette. So this is not, I don't think it's for sale anymore. I'm pretty sure it was limited edition for Christmas because, you know, it's like a like Christmas palette. Um, but... Um, it came with like this and then a sample of a mascara from Too Faced, um, an eyeshadow primer from Too Faced, and a lip, like liquid lipstick from Too Faced, but this palette is really good. Again, it smells like chocolate. It's from Sephora too, and the packaging is so cute. I was just was too obsessed with it not to get it. It wasn't a little more of the pricey side, I feel like, but Too Faced is a pretty pricey brand, so... Yeah, it has really cute like pastel packaging and it comes with like three base colors which I think is amazing. Um, it also comes with a highlighter, a bronzer, and a blush. The highlighter is in Inner Light, the bronzer is the Super Famous Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, 
and then the blush is called chocolate covered strawberry so I like a lot of the colors in here but some of these bottom ones right here I probably won't get much use out of like sugar bells mint chip jingleberry and huckleberry I also am like love palettes that have names because I can kind of say like what I'm using but I really like this palette and I would recommend it if you can find it anywhere but I don't know if you can but I recommend it to anyone who's thinking about it if you guys didn't know I went to generation beauty which I will link that video down below I did a haul and yes, so I got this there, and it's the um, Vancouver palette, and it comes with these colors. It came with a soft matte lip cream in the color Vancouver, which is a really dark purple, but I took it out. It comes with a really big mirror. I don't really like this palette. Um, I mean, the colors aren't super bad in here, but it's just not the palette that I reach for. Packaging matters a lot to me. Don't find myself reaching for this a lot. It's not that I hate it, but I just would not recommend it. I don't know if you can even buy this anywhere, but maybe, I don't know. Okay, I know these aren't eyeshadow palettes, but they have more than one color, so I wanted to tell you guys about these. Um, because I saw a girl put like trios and quads in her eyeshadow palette collection, so I just want to tell you guys about these. These are amazing. I was watching... Um, a makeup collection from a while ago from like two or three years ago and the one girl had this trio walking on eggshells and so I went and bought it it has the prettiest colors it has a brow bone color a crease color and an eyelid color all of them this is from Target by the way so yeah and um the colors are so pretty I loved it so much that I went and that I went back and bought another one this is in silent treatment it's super pretty I love this one too. It's gorgeous. They have a lot more of these at like CVS and Walmart. So I don't really go to CVS or Walmart like ever. So I probably won't be able to get a lot of these. But I've been loving Wet n Wild lately and they're like eyeshadows. But I never go to Walmart or CVS. So I'll see if I can like find these anywhere. I don't know. My best friend Grace who I did a video with. Um, got me all three of these palettes and I was so thankful that she got these for me. Um, I just love them all so much and I think they're going to get a lot of use. So <clears throat> this is like my favorite one that she got me and I love it so much. It is really popular and you guys can probably guess what it is. It is the Marfi 35L palette. It's like everyone's favorite so I was like of course I need it. <laughs> um... This is from Morphe online. Like, yeah. I love this palette. This one has shimmery and matte in it, so it's, like, perfect. Um, there's so many different looks. I haven't used it for, like, an actual, like, look yet. I've used just a couple of colors and random looks, but you could do so many different looks with this one palette. It's, like, amazing. So I'm really excited to see what I can do with this palette. Hey guys, I'm sorry if the camera angle changed. I had to do something on the camera. Sorry, like the camera just, I don't even know what the heck happened, but yeah. She also got me two of these BH Cosmetics palettes, which if like you do crazy looks, I totally recommend these to you. Um, this one is an 88 neutral eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh, look at how many colors are in here. So many. Um, honestly, so many different looks you guys can do with this. It comes with a huge mirror, and I am honestly, I think that this is a great purchase, palette to purchase. And yeah, it's from beachcosmetics.com. There is a red in here. It looks like that. And it was all over, like, all the shadows, so they all have, like, a red tint on the top of them. Um, she cleaned it. So did I, like, um, because it still had a little bit of red on it, so I cleaned it too. But I'm really excited to do some looks with this, so haven't used it much, so, yeah. This palette, it's the Beauty Gems palette from, I think it's from Ulta, I don't know, I got it for Christmas from one of my friends. And it comes with eyeshadow, lip gloss, highlighter, and blushes and bronzers. Um, here are the lip thingies for to open, oh my gosh. And then, here are the eyeshadows, um, I don't know. And then I, I don't even know how to open the other thing. It's like so hard. I've never got it open. Um, I also got this from one of my friends for Christmas. And this is the Nightfall. It's from Beach Cosmetics. It's the Nightfall 12 color eyeshadow palette. And here is what comes with it. It comes with a brush. Which is nice. But here are the colors. 
They're mostly cool tones, so I haven't used this palette yet. And there's some like pops of colors. It's more like a smoky down here and then like a natural up here. Um, my most favorite colors in here are probably these two right here since they're like the most natural colors. They're also the most warm toned colors in this palette, so I'm really excited to see what I can do with this eyeshadow palette. This next one, some people wouldn't consider an eyeshadow palette, and I kind of don't consider it an eyeshadow palette, but like at the same time I do. It's the ColourPop Mile High Best of Super Shock Shadow Collection. The colors in here are Truth, Millionaire, there's this one that I cannot pronounce, but it's so, like, quinchy? That is probably so wrong, honestly. La La, Cricut, and Mittens, my favorite color this pack is adorable. Here, see, they're like single shadows, but like in a palette for me now. Um, La La. I've used this like a couple times, a little more than a couple, but really pretty. It's like bronzy and I love it so much. All the colors are pretty natural in here, so I love them. And yeah, I have been obsessed with ColourPop shadows ever since I received this for Christmas. The most beautiful palettes ever. I went out and I purchased these with my own money. Um, I love them so much. This one's from Sephora, and then this one's from Ulta, so yeah. this one is harder to get, which I thought this one would be, but no. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I should have gotten this so long ago. And these colors in here, I'm sorry, I literally can't, so pretty. I sound like so annoying, honestly, um, but it says Too Faced Sweet Peach on it, and here are the colors. I've wore this out and they sit on really well um they're really pigmented i'm not a big fan of like these colors over here but i love like mostly the whole palette and of course it smells like peaches like all of them smell like something Too Faced packaging is the best thing ever i love it and i'm really excited to play around with those pinks and i'm just really honestly excited to have this in my collection i love it so much I also bought the Modern Renaissance palette. I don't know why I was so late on this trend, like, okay Kylie, but I, I'm so glad I'm on the trend now. I'm a little late, but I, I got it, it's, it's, it's good. Um, it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I don't know, I've heard it called like so many different things, I just call it Anastasia, I don't know. This is the Modern Renaissance, it comes with a huge mirror, it's so dirty though, I don't know why. Like, I haven't done anything, my dirty room, yeah. Lip. And it comes with this brush, which I have not even made a look with this yet. So, these colors. This palette will not stay open. These are the colors. They're so pretty. I love them. Um, this palette is so me. I'm like obsessed. I can't and I love it so much. That's my palette collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to comment some videos down below that you guys want me to see. I'm going to be doing some more makeup videos soon and other videos too. So yeah, I um, hope that you guys enjoyed and subscribe down below. <laughs>